from old and antiquity and beyond because obviously they had some sort of uh, spiritual insight that we have lost today. And if we don't take, uh, it, for me, it's kind of like uh, not listening to your grandpa because he doesn't know how to use an iPad. Uh, there's something to learn from our ancestors that I think has been lost in today's society. And so what about the credible scientific research of the day? Whether it be Adam Stevenson or some of the others that you've mentioned in the past. Well, if you think that... Um, you, know, you can go back to the ancient uh, religion and religions in India where reincarnation is a big part of their belief system and if we if we explore that on a scientific level and not just uh, arbitrarily uh, on faith uh, believe in something uh, Ian Stevenson is one of the uh, premier researchers or was and, uh, and he had people scientific uh, researchers underneath him that continued that research forward and to this very day where they took credible accounts uh, over 25,000 that are just unexplainable and this is before the age of uh, the internet where people could uh, I mean, if you wanted to create a show like all the every uh, seems like a lot of people want to be Instagram stars or social media stars and yeah, they want their kids to act a certain way or do certain things, so they could, uh, you know, they could create hopes pretty easily today with with the internet, and that's pretty difficult to do pre-internet. Whenever kids uh, were brought into a situation, uh, or not brought, they brought their parents into a situation by telling them of past lives and past experiences, and as their parents dug into these things, took their kids. Uh, to where they said they used to live, or uh, took their kids uh, to their children who were still alive, and, and these these kids, uh, five, six, eight years old, were talking to their uh, relatives as if they were the father or grandfather or brother or sister. Uh, it's kind of hard to discard those things, and uh, what's really striking about many of those cases is how those people died, whether it was a, an accident that left scars, whether it was, a, there was a, several of them uh, where they were shot and murdered. Uh, the event that caused them to die left a physical mark on them at death. Well, whenever they uh, started exploring these ideas with these kids of, of what they were saying they were experiencing, they had all had birthmarks in the exact same place where they had died in a previous life. I just don't think we can discard that just right out of the gate. I think you have to start taking some of these things uh, deeper than face value. And Because how do you explain that? How do you explain a uh, five-year-old kid uh, saying, telling his father, I have to go that 200 miles down the road because my two sons they need to hear what I have to say. How would you tell your son, Robbie, if he's five, he's telling you, I have to go to Dallas because I have something to tell my sons. Like, he just won't stop about it. You're going to think it's strange, first of all. And then when he starts talking about the, his kids and what he needs to tell them, it probably freaks you out a little bit. So then you, uh, you go find out if these people even exist. They do exist. You have no idea how your boy understands or even knows how these people exist. You take him there, and then Robbie, as a five- or six-year-old boy, starts scolding them on things that they've been doing in their life or did do while he was alive in some other form. I would have to guess that that would make you a believer in reincarnation or at least something that you cannot fathom, you cannot wrap your mind around. I know if Robbie started saying that and to me and or to you and, and you made me privy of this information and we went somewhere and and then the boys uh, that he is supposed to be a father of start talking about how how he died in a previous life, how he was shot, and he raised up his shirt and all of a sudden he has uh, birthmarks where uh, 
exactly where a gunshot went into him. I mean, that's happened thousands of times. Uh, I don't think we should discard that so easily. I think we should give that some credence. Maybe some of these religions of the past uh, have nuggets and bits of information that could make us better people.